Christmas, uh, welcome to Kids Church! Okay, so at the moment we're doing a series called Known, so it's all the characters in the Bible that aren't actually named in the Bible, but we still have their stories, and we can read them, and we can see how God treasures them and values them, even if we don't know their names. So, we've got a great story for you this week, I'm going to pass you over to Alice. Okay, bye! Good morning everybody, it's Alice here from Swan Bank and it's my turn this week to introduce our story. So we're on our last week of our series of Known and we've been looking at different characters in the Bible who aren't named but they're known to Jesus. And this week we're going to be looking at the story of the widow's offering. So there's going to be a short video that's going to play that hopefully will explain things a little bit better. So I really hope you enjoyed hearing that story and watching the video and um, I think it was a great story and it tells us just about generosity and it showed even though that widow had only got two coins left she was willing to give all of that to the temple to honour the work of Jesus and I really like the fact that Jesus stopped his disciples and said even though this woman's value or the coins weren't worth much value she has given greater than what everyone else had been given. Everyone was a little bit stingy and holding close to their purses, I guess, and didn't want to give much. Um, and I think it's a really important story to tell us about generosity and giving that no matter what we think might be a little amount, it could be something that we think, oh, you know, I'm not going to bother doing that because it's not really going to have an impact. And I think this story encourages us to act even on small acts of generosity. So I've got a little challenge. I would like this week for you to do as many small acts of kindness and generosity. Perhaps this can be at school or at home. Write them all down and update us in the comments and let us know how you get on. We would really love to hear from you. I hope you're all staying well and we will speak to you soon. Thank you. Bye. Hi everybody, Jess here and I'm going to do your craft today. So we're thinking about the story of the widow's offering and in the story it talks about two copper coins. So I thought what might be fun for our craft today is design our own coin. So I have got a paper plate that I've cut down to size. So you can either use a paper plate and cut it like this or you could take some coloured or plain card or paper and I'm actually going to use my paper plate as a template and I'm going to draw a half. So I folded my paper in half and then I'm going to draw a half. So I'm going to use a pen for that. I might use an orange pen so it doesn't show up too much. Make sure I've got half on there. There we go draw my half a plate there we go just like that I've got half and then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut all the way around and what we're going to do is we're going to design our own coins so you know when we see our coins in this country with the currency that we use that we have the Queen's face on it and we have loads of writing on it that's what we're going to design we're going to design our own one of those so I'm going to draw my little girl's face on here with a little crown on or you might want to draw Jesus with a crown on so I'm going to do that first I'm going to do some shoulders and a neck there we go and her face the gorgeous eyelashes that she has, little nose and a little smile and some little freckles. So I've drawn her face so far. I'm gonna put her in a little little top and then I'm gonna do some curly curly hair because my little girl has got very, very lovely but very curly hair. It can be a little bit difficult to brush in the morning. So I'm going to draw her lovely curly hair, just like that. And then I'm also going to give her a nice big crown on the top of her head. Might do it in pink as well, just because why not do it in pink as well. Got a little pink crown on the top. There we go, a little pink crown gonna colour in her top with the pink as well just for a bit more colour and give her some little lips 
little pink cheeks there we go so i've got my picture that i've drawn the last thing that i'm going to do is i'm actually going to write some words along the bottom of my coin so when we have coins that we use in shops they sometimes have a date or they say something specific on them i'm going to write on the bottom of mine truly i tell you because that's the phrase jesus used so truly i tell you doesn't have to be very big or very neat it can be whatever you like and once i've written that i'm just going to add some little decorations either side there we go just like that and we have made our own coin so have a go at designing your own coin and if you write truly i tell you across the bottom and that reminds you all about the story that we've learned today in sunday school oh my gosh that was so much fun okay well that's the end of kids church for this week so uh, i've got to say goodbye but before we go let's have a quick prayer together okay all right let's together uh dear lord Thank you so much for an amazing kids church and thank you for all of our friends and family that came along. Um, thank you for your story this week and thank you that you treasure all of us and that you know us each by name and thank you for all that we've learned today. Um, please watch over us this week and help us to have an amazing week. Amen. Okay, well that's everything for this week guys. I hope you have a great week and we'll see you soon. Bye guys!